The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I say to you that you have sent me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of the Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Now, if you love something or you love someone, you will always want to be close to them. Like you want to candle them, you want to hold them, you want to be next to them. And even in time of great turmoil, like today, you went out with somebody and something happened and you love them. And maybe there is uh, an earthquake or a mother is somewhere and something happens in the house. The mother will always give, hold the, the child and give her back to whatever is coming. Right? Because love will always seek to be close to what it loves. Our God loved us so much that he came to us. He came near to us to hold us, to cleanse our sin, and to make us holy for eternal. And what he wants from us is just faith. Now, again, when you eat, what did you eat last night? Gederi, ugari? Ugari, eh? Now, because you ate ugali, nani anaka ki ugari apa? Can you show ugali in your body? Can you show ugali in your body? So what did you get from the ugali? Ngereza. What did you get from ugali? What did you get from ugali? Okay, what do you get from food? One word for all those that you are saying. No. Energy is part of that. Energy is synthesized something. What do you call what we get from all types of foods? Sorry? Do we have something like nutrients? Oh. So we get nutrients from food. But if you eat ugali, would you become ugali? No, right? So if we receive Jesus in the Eucharist, do we become Jesus? Do you become Jesus? So what do we get from the Eucharist? It's the nutrients that come from the Eucharist. And what are those nutrients? Love, mercy, generosity. Continue. Whatever we get from the Eucharist is what helps us to live with others. Like when we eat, Unaona mtu tu anakula ugali na kanyama. Huoni nyama na ugali unaona akinona. Sasa eh? Akikula managu anakuwa green. Hapana hawezi kuwa green. Unaona nywele yake sio ya red. So when we eat the Eucharist, what do we become? There are people who receive the Eucharist. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirst. 
kaine mwega dakin ya hau whoever comes to me shall not hunger and shall not thirst and now look at what god does to us i said when we receive the eucharist we receive the nutrients look at everything that we say throughout the mass and the best of all is what we call the lord's prayer when we say the lord's prayer what do we say our father our can you start my father who art in heaven even if you are alone you always say who art therefore all the time we should leave us if you have one father who is in heaven if you have one father at home that one you call a family right and those who live in that family are brothers and right so at all times we should live as brothers and sisters because we get from our father who art in heaven hallowed be hallowed be thy if we allow our father to be praised should we seek to be praised by others then should we feel as if we are important more than the others do you do you feel like i am the one now the others don't should we feel like that thy kingdom come that still means we should not create our own small kingdoms where we want to rule people where we want to manipulate and people must sing to our tunes and do what we want we want to live to form our own kingdom we want to create a crook ya watu wenye sisi tukiwa pamoja we are untouchables wacha mtu mwingine atuchokoze mtu mwingine akituchokoza tunawapasha thy will be done on earth do you do the will of god you do you do the will of god do you do the will of god how how do you do it you don't know how how do you do the will of god atake helping the needy mm, yes but which is what is the what is the what is, what do you call this what is the appendix or what do you follow what is the manual love where do we get this love from the decalog the 10 commandments simple that's the 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 will of god follow the 10 commandment give us this day and which is our daily bread the eucharist the bread of life following christ are we together simple things we go for things when we want to follow god give us our daily bread and and as as we have been told that we if we eat christ we get the nutrients of christ then why did christ come from heaven to forgive our sins that whoever believes in him shall not be lost and that is the will of the father imagine christ does not want us to do anything so much what you have done wrong you just need to go to him and tell him hey man i'm wrong and i want you to forgive me and that's it confession you are done you go home god has forgiven you in so far as you come to him and believe he will forgive you but if you are forgiven then you go out there and meet someone who has done something to you and you are still there like oh mimi siwezi muongelesha kila kitu alinifanyia hata siwezi taka kumuona maisha yangu yote men forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us so if you don't forgive shall not be forgiven and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil how many of you tempt others how many of you tempt bring temptation to others are you on the side of god because we say lead us not into temptation but sometimes we tempt others we work for the devil not for god let us seek 
to help others reach to God as we want to reach to God. Because when we receive Christ, however much, and this is where I finish with the first reading, that even in times of persecution, as young as you are, you are living in a very bad time. We are being a Christian. We are being a person who belongs to God. Is so difficult. When you open up your phones, do you find God the things all mutants? Mutants, nema odo maro kodi, bitu takataka tu kwa phone. Sindio? So, if you take your phone, would you go when you go to TikTok? Will you go to that preacher, or will you go to that other site, to that other person who talks some nonsense? What would you want? And I want you to, I'm giving you homework. Wherever you are in the phone, every evening, as I know you don't write a journal, but you can start today. When you take your phone in the evening, go and write what you saw in your phone. I watched this guy who was talking this and this and blah, 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 blah. Then the following day, blah, 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 blah. Then you ask yourself, your faith is being persecuted. But are you standing for your faith? To see Jesus Christ.